Happy Monday. Seattle completed a three-game sweep of Los Angeles Sunday with a 5-1 victory at T-Mobile Park. Mitch Garber drove in three runs. Luke Rayleigh hit a home run, and Luis Castillo pitched seven innings during his fifth win of the season as the Mariners wrapped up a grueling 17-day marathon without a break. Rayleigh hit a homer yesterday and was robbed of the home run that Moniak pulled back in the game on Friday. Oh, this is smashed. Lace to right field. A screamer. And it just gets over the wall. Luke Rayleigh with an absolute rocket over the fence. And the Mariners take the lead. Somebody's Netflix password in that helmet of nachos. Call it a night. This is wow. In time. You talk about showing off over there at third. Man. Josh Rojas getting it done. And it looked like it was going to be a perfect bunt. Rojas was playing back a little bit. Good defense. The 1 1. It hit him. Luke Rayleigh drives in his second run. Julio at third. France runner at second. Rayleigh at first base. The payoff to Mitch Garver. Line left field. Base hit. Julio is in. He's waving the rest home. Here is France. Here For the Mariners, the first base hit with runners in scoring position and it drives in three. Gets a full count, another fastball pretty much in the middle of the plate. And it's a solid line drive. First of a three game set against the Padres. And who hits it up the middle and it's throw for a base hit. And the shutout gets broken as Pilar scores and Zach Neto drives in a run. And have a pinch hitter for the Angels. And this is Matt Dice. Rojas onto the warning track. Does he have the room? He does. And the Mariners win it. They have swept the Angels and they put the capper on what has just been a magnificent six and one home state. Root Sports Northwest Jen Mueller caught up with Luke Rayleigh after the Mariner win. What have you come to learn about this team and the way that they handle close games before that chaos ball kicks in? Yeah, there's no panic. Um, you know, we just stick to our game and keep playing. And we know, you know, as Saw said, it's nine innings. So, um, yeah, we just keep going. And we know, we know we're going to turn it around. And we have great bullpen, great starters. So it's, it's fun. You know what else you have? Finally, a day off tomorrow after 17 straight games. What does that do going into an off day with a win? Yeah, I mean, going into an off day with a win, serious win, serious sweep, it's awesome. Um, it was a great home stand, so carry the momentum after the off day into uh, Oakland. It's okay to smile when you say serious sweep. There we go. It's okay to cheer when we say serious sweep. It is the second time the Mariners have done that this season. Go inside and enjoy this one with your teammates, Luke. Seattle finished the seven game homestand six and one and went 10 and seven over the 17 game stretch. Manager Scott Service was certainly happy to get the sweep. Fantastic homestand. Uh, six and one uh, against uh, divisional uh, opponents. Uh, awesome to see our guys uh, find a way to win and uh, did it in different ways. Luis Castillo. Wow. There's no panic in Luis Castillo. You see it all the time. Early in the game, could be a couple guys on, or even if giving up a home run or whatever. I just, you know, it's what I do. I pitch. I just keep pitching and keep pitching and grinding through it. And all of a sudden, you'll find it. And uh, he did today. And, and thank God for us, because early in the game, I'm thinking, wow, it might only be five or six innings today. And then I thought the sixth inning was the best inning of the day. Started to find his slider, because he really didn't have that at all early in the game. And then was able to get through the seven. So uh, the value of that guy in the starting rotation, all our guys are really good, super talented, but he is the rock. He's the anchor. Certainly offensively, Rayleigh has been smoking hot here You know, the last few days. A big home run and really good at bats. Fortunate there uh, to get a couple add-on runs uh, in the eighth inning, and they're huge. I thought Mitch Garver had a good day today. You know, Mitch has been struggling a little bit, so see him get a big hit late in the game like that, um, it's huge. Seattle is off today before traveling to Oakland to begin a three-game series with the A's at 640 tomorrow on Root Sports Northwest. While well, the Mariners emerged from the weekend with a four-game lead over Texas in the American League West, Rangers blanked Miami Sunday 6 Six nothing. Houston is seven and a half games back after falling to Minnesota 4-3. A's are 10 games behind Seattle after falling to Atlanta Sunday 3-1. The Wenatchee Apple Sox are 3-0 after sweeping their opening series of the season over Port Angeles over the weekend. It all began Friday with a 4-1 victory over the lefties, which was broadcast on the NCW Live channel. I was joined by Brandon Schmitten on the call here on the NCW Live channel. 
Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to Paul Thomas Senior Baseball Stadium here on the campus of Wenatchee Valley College. It is time for another season of Apple Sox Baseball, the 25th campaign for this organization as they welcome in the Port Angeles lefties to start the West Coast League season. By the time you get to the latter portion of the season, these teams are going to look a lot different. This pitch is fisted into the air, nice. and that's going to be a fair ball down the left field line, rounding first, double. heading for second. How about the first hit of 2024 for the Apple Sox? A stand-up double for there Max Hartman. Go. Pitch on the way here to oh, that ball swung well. on by Benavidez, and it is going to score a run. Our first run of the 2024 season will be off a sacrifice fly from the bat of Cade Benavidez as the Apple Sox lead at 1-0. As a coach, you say, is it a ball you could hit out so, of the ballpark? Well, we got a tie game because yeah. the pitch was high and inside for ball four. So give an RBI to Giesig, and we're tied at 1-1. Kind of just going, okay, who do I have? Yeah. Yeah, there's a ground ball through for a base hit and, a, and an RBI for Gianni, and he will drive in the Apple Sox second run. What actually leads it 2-1. Two 2-2 to two -two count to Johnson. Pitch swung on and a oh, line drive nice. base hit into left field. That's going to score the third run of the season for the Apple Sox. Give a little cushion here in the eighth inning. The 0-1 pitch, swung on a chop towards the left oh, side. Third play. baseman dies, makes the play, throws to first, and it's dug Great out, and right that there. will be an out. A run, another run's going to score when Anchi's on top, 4-1. to It is strike two. So Three runner. and two to count the runners are going to go. Yep, runners will be moving on this, so you got to go across to one with a ground ball here. Hammergren's pitch, swung on and fouled into the glove of the catcher, and Scheffler nice. will squeeze it, and that'll be the final out. And the Apple Sox win the opener of the 2024 campaign by a final of 4-1 to one here tonight. I also caught up with the hitting star Max Hartman and skipper Mitch Darlington after the contest. And Max Hartman joining us now. Max, uh, well, gee, just a couple of doubles, you know, a couple of stolen bases. Just just what you're used to, right? Yeah, I mean, it was a good good start. Get the get the first hit as a, as an Apple Sox out of the way and then get the fans in it early. It was, it was, it was, fun. It was fun, to, fun to be part of it. So tell me about your journey to wind up here in Wenatchee. How did that happen? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I'm at WSU, and, and they said it was a good fit for me, and I really liked uh, Mitch here. Um, he gets fired up, and I really like the culture he has going here. So A fun game, a great atmosphere, Mitch. you got to be happy about this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good crowd tonight. Um, really good starting pitching on both ends. Um, you know, not a lot of action there early on, but uh, we found a way to get it done. Let's talk about your starter, Blake Reese. I mean, I wasn't talking about it because he was, you know, perfect through what four and two thirds before they finally got a base hit on him. I mean, he was dealing tonight. Did you know he had this in him? Yeah, you know, watching him a little bit this spring with Wenatchee Valley, um, you know, he was a first team all conference guy and a left handed arm, funky kind of an arm slot. And, uh, you know, had a good year there, and we, we just figured, hey, let's roll him out on a Friday night. This is his home field. You know, he's got two years of experience pitching out here, and, uh, you know, I, I can't say we expected that performance for him to hang zero after zero yeah. for us and, and keep wanting the ball, but uh, really, really impressive on his end. Wenatchee kept winning on Saturday in a wild one, 16-13, with Aiden Doherty making his Apple Sox debut a good one. He went five for six with three runs and three RBI. Cade Benavidez also had a productive night, going three for four with five RBI. Wenatchee scored early and often Sunday in a 15-2 blowout win. Coppin State's Damon Gaither had a bases-clearing double and a five RBI night as the Apple Sox improved to 3-0. and Another action Sunday, Bellingham edged Edmonton 14-13. Victoria doubled up Kamloops 10-5. Kelowna beat Nanaimo 14-8. Another WCL South. The Yakima Valley top Springfield 13-4. Walla Walla beat Ben 10-6. Corvallis at Cowlitz and Ridgefield at Portland were both rained out. Apple Sox hold an early lead in the WCL North by a game over the Harbor Cats, Bells, and Night Owls. Wenatchee has a non-league game tonight at 6:35 against the Redmond Dukes. Well, racers from all over the country converged on Wenatchee Valley Super Oval Saturday for the Wenatchee 200. And it was a local who grew up on this track who would take the checkered flag and $25,000 to go with it.
Okanagan's Evan Getz was the winner in the super late model event, followed by Spokane's Hayden Plybon second and uh, Sonoa, Georgia's Bubba Pollard third. Moses Lake's Eric Hector was the winner in the Dix Heating and Air Conditioning Thundercar main event. Waterville's Gary Holman was second, followed by Wenatchee's Luke Shaw third. The checkered flag flew for Albuquerque, New Mexico's Jason Irwin in the Angel Bale Bond Legends main event. Second place went to Gabe Sessler of Prosser. Troutdale, Oregon's Andrew Reel was third. Super Oval re reconvenes in a couple of weeks after the, uh, it'll be for the Bump to Pass night presented by Artisan Flooring. Go to WVSO.com for more on that. That's a look at Sports News. I'm Eric Granstrom. Have a happy Monday.